wow, 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 Kenny. The yeah. Hang Seng is really falling. China stocks have really fallen as well. What should investors be thinking now? Uh, now the market focus in coronavirus, so we need to pay a very close uh, attention to the development. If we can see some uh, stabilization, then uh, th that's good for the global economy and Hong Kong stock market. But bear in mind, I'm talking about stabilization, but not uh, significant improvement. Because using 2003 as an example, even though uh, we have we had uh, improvement uh, until the end of May, but the Hang Seng Index in 2003 already started to rebound in uh, at end of April. So one key uh, learning is we need to focus on the new confirmed cases of infection. If we see the data start to slow down, then the stock market may uh, have the potential to rebound. But frankly speaking, there's not talking about coming weeks, hopefully in, in May or June. So be uh, prepared that in coming few weeks or one to two months, the Hang Seng Index may be remain highly volatile and we see further downside. Uh, the key support level will be 23,000 uh, level for, Hong, uh, for Hang Seng Index. And around that level, you may uh, can to try to or start to accumulate your uh, equity exposure. So what should investors be doing right now and what should they definitely not do? Yes, just like our previous discussion, I said uh, wait and see. And if our, we are correct, because even though we saw some short-term rebound, uh, they are just short-term rebound. It's not, it's not a long-lasting uh, 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 upward trend. So I will say, given in coming weeks, the market will be driven by sentiment, not fundamentals. It's not fair or not, uh, investors do not have an advantage in this situation. So uh, for long more retail investors, it's better to keep uh, wait and see. But of course, it depends on different situations. Uh, in case you're already holding a high portion of stocks, uh, I would recommend if you see some uh, rebound, you should try to with, uh, trim down your exposure because the market will remain highly volatile. But in another case, just like me holding 80%, 90% cash, uh, that may be good in coming months to try to accumulate exposure uh, if you, you can ignore the short-term volatility and target to hold the stock, say, six months or even a year or two years. I say it's a good time to buy uh, on dips and looking for a handsome profit in coming one to two years. And in terms of uh, assets you might go into, yeah. like gold, tell me about gold and also are China stocks a better investment through the Stock Connect for Hong Kong investors? I mean, we like gold. Uh, start from a year ago because now we, we think that the stock market will remain highly volatile uh, not only because of the coronavirus also because the u.s china trade uh, war and also global economy slowdown so it makes sense to hold gold our target for gold price in this year will be 1900 uh, mm. so still have 200 uh, upside potential for stock and uh, even though maybe uh, our situation can back to normal but now every central bank is cutting rate so liquidity will dry up, uh, will uh, push the CPI in the near future. So I think it makes sense the whole goal in your portfolio. It can hatch the currency risk, it can hatch the inflation risk, it can hatch your downside uh, stock price uh, correction risk. So uh, we really like the gold prices. And regarding uh, Hong Kong stock or China stock, uh, several sectors we think it will be beneficiary. First one will be 5G and uh, some IT stocks. Because, um, yes, because they also can benefit from the government support. Usually when the GDP slow down, China government will uh, increase the government spending. Uh, traditionally, we will uh, invest on, say, railway, property. This is what we call old infrastructure. Now we can new infrastructure. It's a 5G. So I think in coming years, they can provide or enjoy a long-term growth. It's a long-term growth story. Whenever the stock price have a correction, it's good. Uh, time to accumulate for a real long-term investors. That's all the time we have, Kenny. Yeah. That's, we really appreciate you stopping by. I know it's really busy right now yes. for you. Thanks. Thank you.